Okay, if you've been watching my videos, you probably already know about turntables, preamps, and receivers, but what the hell is a phonograph? I briefly mentioned that word in another video, but today I wanted to go into more detail about what exactly is a phonograph. So today we're finally gonna answer that question. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New and today we're going to talk about record players and what exactly is a phonograph. I'm sure if you're watching this video then you've probably already heard this term thrown around a lot, but today we're going to actually find out what it means. But before we get to that, I made another video about how record players work and that video will help you to better understand today's video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, I highly recommend you check it out. Also one more thing, and this is really important, lately I've been in contact with the CEO of Saturn. Mr. David Jankowski, and it looks like I might be granted an interview on Skype with Kevin Carrico of Third Man Records. And if you've seen this video, then you'll already know that Kevin is the engineer who built the famous Icarus Craft, which played the very first gold-plated vinyl record in space. The Icarus Craft took him three years to build, and in my future interview with him over Skype, I'll be able to ask him all kinds of questions about the device itself, and also we might even get access to special never-before-released footage of the Icarus craft in action. Super cool. Now here's where you guys come in. If you have any questions about the Icarus craft or any questions for Kevin himself, I want you to post them down in the comments below this video. That way I can have those questions ready for him when we do the interview. So post your awesome questions down below. Okay, now let's get back to the phonograph. What exactly is a phonograph? Well, the official definition is a device used for the mechanical reproduction of sound. So basically what that means is that a phonograph can mechanically play music. And what do I mean by mechanically. Well, if you look real close at a record, you'll notice that they have one long spiral groove starting near the edge of the record and then coming to a closed loop near the center of the record near the label. Now, this long groove is all the musical information. So here's what a phonograph does. It uses a stylus, which is a little needle that traces that record groove. The needle vibrates back and forth to produce the music. So essentially, a phonograph is another word for record player and a record player is another word for for a phonograph. Now, phonograph is the official name for what this device is, and record player is kind of like the common slang term that we use, but they're both the exact same thing. Okay, now that we understand the simple fact that a phonograph and a record player are the exact same thing, here's where it gets a little confusing. There are three different kinds of phonographs slash record players. Pretty crazy, right? The first phonograph ever invented was the cylinder phonograph created in 1877. And if you'd like to see the video I made about those, you can click this card up here and you'll be all caught up. Now, the cylinder phonograph was the very first device to play back sound and music recorded onto wax cylinders. It, it records much more accurately than, oh, Shit. The groove on the cylinder would vibrate a large horn and create the sound, which was pretty awesome at the time because nothing like that had ever been done before. Now the second phonograph was called the gramophone. It was created in 1887, so 10 years after the wax cylinders, by a guy named Emil Berliner. He took the same concept of the wax cylinders, but instead used a flat round disc. This disc became known as a record. Sound familiar? The groove on the record would vibrate a large horn and create sound, just like the wax cylinders. And like the wax cylinder phonograph, these gramophones were also completely mechanical, meaning no electricity was used. All you had to do was wind up a hand crank on the side of the box and that would cause the record to spin for about three minutes, which was perfect for the length of a single song. You can actually still find some of these really old gramophones on eBay, but they are super expensive. And finally, the third phonograph is called a turntable. These are the phonographs we are still using today. Basically, the concept is the exact same as the gramophone. However, instead of using a large horn to directly create the sound, turntables use electrical parts to boost the sound and play it out of speakers. These electrical parts are the cartridge, the preamplifier, the amplifier, and finally the speaker cones. It's a much more high-tech way of playing music and adjusting the volume. So basically, just remember this. A phonograph is the official name for all three types of record players. First, the wax cylinder player, then the gramophone, and finally the modern turntable. Okay, well that's basically everything, and I hope this video wasn't too confusing for you guys, because I'm pretty sure that is everything you need to know about phonographs for a while. Now,
Now, if you like this video, join the Vinyl Revolution and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down below. And most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl. And keep spinning those phonographs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.